those scallywags Max and Paddy appear on the road to nowhere. A double bill from 10 o'clock tonight. Right now, for though, the bank is open for business in Deal or No Deal. Twenty-two identical sealed boxes, in one of which is a quarter of a million pounds, and just one question. Deal or no deal? Yeah, we're trying to rev ourselves up a bit, uh, bearing in mind what happened yesterday. Yeah, you probably heard. If you weren't actually watching, I'm sure someone told you all about it. Ollie's game. The wonderful Ollie, 23 years old, mad about his family. Mum has been seriously ill, not able to work for a couple of years. So, we were heartbroken when Ollie had the worst run of four boxes at just that key moment and destroyed his game completely. And he went away with a tenner. So how are we going to cheer ourselves up? Well, it's worth pointing out that next week we, we have this Santa and Scrooge week where the banker says there's going to be all sorts of surprises for the East and West Wing. And I also think there might even be a bit of dressing up as well. And then we've got our Christmas Star Week when people that you have nominated, worthy people, will come and have a chance to play in the crazy chair. We've got a great Christmas coming up. So, yes, let's remember Ollie, but let's forget his game. And here come the names for today. Let's hope the boxes are kinder today and it's your opportunity to shine. Johnny! <laughs> Johnny, the crazy chair is now yours. I've always wanted a theme tune. Oh, look at that, it's awesome. <laughs> they sit down. <laughs> I've got to say straight away, you are a good sport. <laughs> We've been ribbing you, what, for 23... 23 long shows, yeah, yeah. I've been counting them. <laughs> you went from tramp to super tramp. And... That was a good transition, I like that. That's a... <laughs> You're a good sport. Jonathan Heald. I am Jonathan Heald. From Burton-on-Trent in Staffordshire. Yep. You're studying at Kiel University, what? I'm uh, doing information and business uh, studies. How so, exciting. Yeah, it sounds it, doesn't it? Yeah, why? Uh, well, when I, you tell you my career, it will have nothing to do with any of that. I want to be a primary school teacher. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's easily nothing, well, no job I'd want to get up to every day of my life other than that. Really? Yeah, so hopefully, uh, give it another year and a half, I should be uh, finding a place to teach. Good. I like things like that. <laughs> I also like this. From his file on dreams. He has created a list of 100 things to do by the time he's 30. Uh, each part of the list is sponsored and he donates the money to charity. So far, you've managed to do 20 things off the 100 list. Uh, yeah, I think it could even be a couple more than that. It's, uh... Including a fire walk, changing his middle name to Spider-Man by Deed Pole. <laughs> <laughs> you twit. <laughs> and skydiving. Well, the skydiving's uh, one for the future. I haven't quite done that one yet, but that's, that's the next one. Right. Yeah, but uh, I've done a few things for the um, Royal Society for the Blind. That was the, uh, the fire walk, and they, they seem such a lovely charity, and that's, that's who I want to do more things for. That, that hopefully, out of any money I win, I could just you know, give them something and then do something silly in return. <laughs> Brilliant. It sounds fun. Yeah. And your belief is, well, you tell us. I think if you go through life think, living by no regrets, then you can't do any wrong. You know, try everything. OK, so the greatest regret in life is not actually going for everything. Exactly. Give everything a shot, which is why you're here. 
Exactly, that's why I'm here. Are you happy to crack on? I am happy to crack on. Let's do Jolly it. good. I need you to confirm you chose box number one at random before the game began. I did, yeah. You're sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. Johnny, go and get a huge amount of money. Good luck. <laughs> Okay, I do have a bit of a theory about picking numbers, and that's uh, if there's a big number in place, normally the two either side aren't so bad. It's, I think, I've, well, from what I've seen, it's very rare that you'll get, you know, them consecutively. And also, it's the big problem. I've got lucky numbers like everyone, but it's whether to go for the lucky numbers first or save them. So I'm going to test the water. I'm going to pick my second favourite number, which is 16, Brian. OK, Brian, get us underway, please. Ten thousand has gone. OK. <laughs> this could be a risky, risky one here. I'm going to go with Sandra, number 21. Right. We start at the same time, Johnny, so I hope you have a good finish. Thank you very much. 20,000, you're climbing now. So, on your principle, Natasha and Kenny have got low numbers. Yeah. See number five, Natasha, please. Good luck, Johnny. So have you proved your theory and therefore Kenny will be a low I, one? I think so. Yeah? Oh, we're okay. safe with you, Kenny. Kenny 15, please. Right, uh, good luck. Hope it's a low blue. I hope so too, mate. Thousand, that's all right. <laughs> what I'm going to do for my final box is pick number two, Patricia, because I'm hoping that's a low one because it's next to where I am. Ah! <laughs> Yes, like it. <laughs> oh, well, Patricia, uh, well, 1p would be nice, please. <laughs> You're a good lad, Johnny. Thank I wish you the best of the future. 5,000. <laughs> a letterbox and three low rates. It's strange, I always call the, uh, if the 150,000 come out, I call that the null letterbox. It's a little bit lower down. Give me a bit. <laughs> I could be easier for you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you do really well in your game, Johnny. <laughs> Hello, banker. Oh, you are still thrilled with the collapse of the game yesterday. 13th, it was yesterday, and it was lucky for you, wasn't it? You've enjoyed this week. Ah, the last day of Miss Ori, yes. Ravishing, he says. Johnny's here, super tramp. Oh, one of your favourite players ever, he said. Like oh, it. yes, of course. He saved a lot of money on the accommodation. <laughs> that cardboard box in the car park didn't cost a lot, did it? No. Yes, 100 things to do before he's 30. And none of them involve a wash, no. <laughs> He is Jonathan Spider-Man Healed. You've heard about it. Oh, you've read about it on the web. <laughs> what is the top he's wearing here? Take a look at it. Yeah, it's, it does have rather horrible stains on the neck there. That's the makeup. I do that on my face. It's got it's got a hole there, yeah. It's my favourite. He's a mess, yes. <laughs> Yes, Mr. Banker, but you think he's got potential? Oh, he thinks you need somebody to take a hold of you. My that all. And what are you going to do? Oh, he's going to make some phone calls. <laughs> he's making phone calls, and the offer comes in three parts. Firstly, soap. <laughs> Secondly, a bucket of water. <laughs> And thirdly, £11,000. That 
that's an incredible offer. I think I'm already in the Hall of Fame for being one of his favourites, so I'm not going to be in the Hall of Fame for going first, so I think I'm ready for the question, Neil. £11,000, Johnny. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. I'm going to hang on to my favourite number for a little bit. That's number three. And the big, two biggest superstitions in Deal or No Deal is the newbie and 13. So again, I'm just going to test the water a little bit. I'm going to pick number 13, Ian. You've been great fun. Thank you. I'm going to have to go for the second superstition, aren't I? Welcome to the game, Lloyd. Cheers, John. I'd very much like to see a blue in number 10, if that's OK with you. 35,000. That's a big hit. But four, Hurry about it, Lloyd. Four and seven should be safe. You'd hope. Well, I thought that was the reason for you to risk it. It would, but I think I need the break to decide seven or four. Do you? I, I would. He's getting a bit cocky. He's asking for the break before I've offered it to him. <laughs> oh, it's fortuitous you asked for a break. Have I been granted one? He's made the call. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. Oh, this is lovely. Off you go. Pennyworth, his butler, his personal barber, his personal tailor are all now going to give you a banker makeover during the break. Go on. Go on. You really will be back after the break. A transformation. Is it possible? Johnny's game. As you can see, he's not here. Johnny, dubbed super tramp by the banker because of his somewhat eccentric appearance, has been given the opportunity of a banker makeover. During the break, the banker's personal barber, his personal tailor and his butler have been working on Johnny's new look. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the new Johnny! <laughs> I said at the beginning of your, at the beginning of your game, I thought you were a good sport. But I mean, that must be the first time in what four, five years you've had a wash. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely four years since I've had a clean shave. Anyway, I just got my friend Callum because uh, I've known him eleven years, and I don't think he's seen me shaven. Oh, what do you think, Callum? This is the first time I've seen him in a shirt since school. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you happy to go on? I am. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go by my theory then, and number seven, Glennis, please. I really, really would like a blue, because I think I've blown a bit of a hole in the reds. The theory is Lloyd had a very a large one. What did you have, 35,000, was it? That's right, no. And therefore, either side of the big numbers, there are low numbers, is the theory. So, Glennis, this should hold no fear for us. Thank you. Well, it's holding good at the moment. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> he says, much better, my boy. Am I allowed to thank him personally? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. How appropriate. Hello, Mr. Banker. 
Uh, what, what do you know about me? <laughs> How could you possibly know that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, okay, have you ever heard of the three-second rule? <laughs> the three-second... Okay, uh, I'll just explain to the audience. Okay. Um, we get lunch at Deal or No Deal, and uh, uh, Callum went across to get my pudding. <laughs> It was the last profiterole there, and Callum dropped it on the floor, and he scooped it back up and gave it to me, and I said, was it on the floor longer than three seconds? He said, no, so I had to... <laughs> How could you possibly know that? You know everything. But I do remember all of it. He did. So apart from the profiterole on the floor incident, what else was that all about? Well, to learn the mistake of Ollie's game yesterday, and he wants me to go from rags to riches to the sum of £15,000. Really? <laughs> That's rather good. I think it's time to bring Callum down. Yeah? Right, you're on, Callum. Hi, Callum. Hi, North. Nice right. to meet you. You too. What do you think, matey? It's cracking off, I mate. It really is. But you still got them bottom four. That's what Ollie had. It can't happen two games in a row, though, can it? I hope not. You wouldn't think so. I'm ready, now. Yeah? I'm ready. £15,000. Deal or no deal? No. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, for number four, I'm still going by my theory that one either side of Lloyd's going to do me some good. You look great, Johnny. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and good luck. <laughs> okay, Louise, number nine. Amazing. The last offer is gone. Okay. Jules, I need your help. Have you got any feelings? Not today. I'll have 22, please. Good luck. Faultless. All right? Yeah, I'm good. That is a fascinating block there. Hello. Callum's joined us. He says, you've got potential. You just need someone to get hold of you. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get to go off now? No, another <laughs> makeover. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, Callum, it's not going to happen. He says his team are good, but they're not miracle workers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, OK, OK. Yes, not happy with you, Jules, at all. The banker was really confident, Johnny, he was going to stick. But then the 1P came out. You are now facing a value on box one of £20,000. <laughs> your hands out of your pockets. <laughs> Have a bit of a lifetime, eh? I keep looking at my friends up there as well, there. What do you think, guys? That's good, mate, but I know you... Hang on a minute, hang on. Just in case he's got a friend with a brain, let's hear what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I know you, you said what offers you'd go with, you know, you'd bite his hand off for those sort of offers, but um, I think you might have one more there. When you're ready, Noel, I'm uh, you're ready there. for the question. £20,000. Twenty thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. Great game. Great game. Three 
really, really important boxes. Yesterday, this was the point where it went horribly wrong. And we had those four in a row that really killed the game completely. Okay, number three, please, Pat. It's my favorite number for so many reasons. I'm going but to I'm not going to cling on to it because people I've seen tend to cling on to favorite numbers, normally left disappointed. Yeah, I'm going to miss you next to me so very much. Okay, we've got two boxes left. One's going to come from either of those two, and one's going to come from either of those three. What did you three have yesterday? I had 75. I had a, I had a blue. I had 50. Grand. Yeah. I'll try the uh, ever lovely Miss Ori, please, number six. Here we go. We want a blue. It's going to be a heck of a cheer if it's a blue. Not the best handsome. Okay, I'm going to do the same theory. What did both of you have yesterday? I had 10,000 yesterday. Mine was a low red. It's you, Hayley. Hayley, the tramp, could be on his way to a massive sum of money. Rags to riches, come back after the break. It looks like it's on. Next week, join us for a feast of festive fun. We'll be playing Scrooge or Santa, a special Christmas game with big surprises. <laughs> Welcome back to Johnny's Game. We've transformed the man, and at the moment, you are just in such a strong position. I like the way it's looking. Yeah, and your system, this theory of yours, is holding up at the moment. You are on course to be a massive winner, and you could be our second quarter millionaire. I want to be that second quarter millionaire. Yeah. It's two months since the quarter million came to the table. Which box are you going for? I'm going to have to stick with the theory, Hayley. Yeah? You're going with box 11? Box 11, please. Hayley! Good luck, Johnny. Thank you. So many players love it when they get to eight box and it's balanced, four blues and four reds. But just look at which four reds you have. You're quite liking this catwalk business, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Johnny, well done. Mm. You okay? Having fun? I'm having the time of my life now. Time of your life, good. We all are, but you're not. Oh, you're making him more than nervous. He says he's scared now. Scared of the tramp? It's a tramp. I'm after his change. Oh, you're hobophobic. <laughs> right. He's going to throw in the uh, suit and the tie and the shirt <laughs> and the shoes. And uh, there'll be a bit of cash in the jacket pocket. In fact, £30,000 for it. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a fair bit of change to be carrying around in my suit pocket. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Oh, hello again. <laughs> well, that was so gruff. I'd like to speak to Callum, please. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Just that that was Johnny. He doesn't want you walking out with egg over your trampy face. <laughs> I should make you deal. We played this game 
Deal or No Deal had just come out and we played it with playing cards, 11 reds and 11 black cards, you know, and used uh, ace as the lowest and we put all the values down and we were left with 250,000 and 100,000. Also, for my birthday this year, we had a mock game at home and I also was left with the top two. Woo! That's for gear. Johnny, you've got four there and you're talking yourself into it already, so you'll know what you should be doing. You right, Kenny? I'm gonna give it another bash now. I'm ready for the question. The suit and 30,000 pounds. Deal or no deal? Okay, number 19, Katie, please, can I have one of the remaining four blues? Katie, the all blue round is something that we go looking for, and it's still relatively rare, but when it crops up, it's so important that it arrives at a really significant part of the game. This quite clearly is that moment. Well, the premonition is not going to happen because the 100,000 is gone. <laughs> right, the next two have to be the blues. OK, I'm going quickly into box 12, please, Kerry. OK, Kerry, we must avoid the mega money. It must be a blue to keep him in the game. Ah! Ah! This is too painful, the thought this could happen. Two consecutive games. We're right on the edge of getting you in the Hall of Fame along with Ollie. Where are you going? Clive, please. Clive, the four blues are still there for you to take your pick. The whole shape of the game has changed, but it is not over as long as you do not reveal 50,000 and, of course, most importantly, a quarter of a million. Clive, please reveal a blue. Yes! You can still be only our second quarter millionaire. Feel good? I'm feeling really lucky at the moment, yeah. Yep. Yep. You cannot possibly doubt your courage. He you cannot. For one second, doubt your resolve. Hello. If he'd taken the quarter of a million, it would have come crashing down. He said, inevitably, it is going down, but not with a crash. You have the laxative offer, the one that seems to get everyone unblocked and out of here. It's 26,000. 26,000. The offer that's worked for him so many times. It just gets people clean away. Johnny, £26,000 is a lot of money. I think you're into gambling stage now. Tish is right. Yep. I am a bit of a gambler, but that's why Callum's there. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could live with yourself if you took 26 and you missed out on the big money. But if you didn't take 26 and you went home with 50p, you would regret that more. I'm ready for the question, Noel. He's Callum. <laughs> OK. He's never I've got ready. no idea where he's going with this. OK. We're about to find out. £26,000. Deal or no deal? Oh, 
I should have voted for the suit. <laughs> <laughs> OK, you've got £26,000, but I think we all know there was a gambler bubbling away inside you, Johnny, and you are now terrified at the thought that you have actually blown the opportunity to win a quarter of a million pounds. You must play on as you would have done if you had said no deal. OK, the number out of left is Dino. OK. I'm going to start with Glenn. Great, please. Glenn, we want Let to see, see a quarter of a million pounds, please. Johnny, you're a top lad. No! It would have been a great start. So Next ne one. OK, fix it up. Let's go. Stuart, 18, please. 18. OK, Stuart, we want the quarter please, of a million. 18. Oh, it's the big one. No, no, no. Oh, have you blown the opportunity to win a quarter of a million pounds? It has to be in the next box. You're keeping 14. I assume you want 17. It is, yeah. Yes, box 17. Steve, if this is a fiver... Oh, I made a mistake, I'm right. Total disaster. And, of course, because of the stage we are at, 50,000 is not enough. We have to hope that the man who had 1p yesterday has the quarter of a million today. Were you never going to be a quarter millionaire? Reveal it. No! Oh, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny! There could be five pounds in box one. Or, for the first time in two months, the quarter million has come to the table. Hello. Come on, what would it, what would it have been? What would it have been? At this point, if you had hung on, it would have been 75,000 pounds. Right. So, would you have taken the 75 or would you have decided that actually you quite fancy the idea of being a quarter millionaire? I'd have, got, I'd have gone for it. <laughs> One in two chance of being a quarter millionaire, I'd have snapped your hand off. I'd have gone for it. Well, that would have been something. I'll tell you what, Callum, could you just hop out of the chair one second, please? And, Johnny, could you sit down, because possibly you're going to need to. This box, the one you brought to the table, is a totally genuine, honest realisation of whether you have just blown the chance to be our second quarter millionaire and the first man to do it. Have you blown the chance to be a quarter millionaire? <laughs> oh, how do you feel? Oh, you would not believe. <laughs> Dino, you've got it. So flaunt it. What I mate. There it is. How do we sum this up? You arrived as a tramp. <laughs> you go away as a very smart gentleman in a suit. You go away with £26,000. It is a fact that you could have had 75000 if you'd gone on a bit more. But you've got a fantastic outlook on life. What, what are you going to do with 26,000? I always said that if uh, I was ever in any way rich, I'd like to share it around. And uh, Callum's got a fiance, and I'd like to give him three grand to go towards his wedding. Oh, wow. <laughs> Johnny, 26,000 pounds. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Um, he did say, could you take the suit off? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing one, I'm just doing a runner. <laughs> Brilliant. 26 grand, fantastic. <laughs> That's a very disappointing games recently, and the move here now is fantastic. We haven't forgotten about Ollie, but how refreshing to meet a young man for whom 26,000 is really significant.
It's now 23,000. He's given some to Callum. I just, I just think that's brilliant. And do you know what is particularly brilliant? That banker did it again. 26 grand shifts them. And now he does it. I wonder if we'll do it again tomorrow. See you then. Well, coming up next here on 4, Frankie Dettori and Rupert Everett join Paul O'Grady. What's this? It's garlic white with a hint of vanilla. Mmm, nice.